Um, I'm just wearing my Rick Owens, of course, and my leggings. You would be like, damn, I know that ass is fat. Then I turn around and I'd be like, psych your mic. I'll put the bait out. If you can't catch the bait, you can't catch the bait. That's it. Hey y'all, so it is seven in the morning. I'm getting ready for my flight to New Orleans for work. Yay. This is the same job that I was complaining about, but your girl has an interview today with another job, so we're gonna get into that a little bit later. I think that interview may be, is it virtual or? Oh yeah, it's a phone call. Phone calls are good. Cause you know what I'm going to do? I love phone calls cause you could just easily write a script and lax and just be chilling like you done came up with the thoughts yourself. I mean, you did come up with the thoughts yourself, but not off the top. Okay, this is another manager role, but it's more so like senior manager. The only thing is that they wanted me to have seven, 10 years of like policy and public affairs and that's not what I have. I do have nine years of advocacy work and I think that I could Swiggle, swiggle my way in there. So I'm definitely going to try my hardest with this interview, especially because it's with the recruiter. And I feel like, not that it's easy to make an impression on the recruiter, but the recruiter is obviously like looking for particular things. And it's just, it's gonna be real quick. I feel like it's going to be more so just like, oh, what have you done? What work is this, 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 this. So. I am excited about that, but before I leave my house, like anytime, anytime I leave um, to go anywhere, and this was even true for when I was with my mom, living with my mom, I have to clean, like literally have to clean. I've been cleaning the living room up. I could just give straight out of the ocean a bit. This is not an apartment tour. Everything's gonna come together, but. I've been cleaning the living room up, so I vacuumed this couch. Y'all know Appa is gone for this week while I um, head out, so he's not here. But I cleaned up the couch, cleaned up the floors. I don't want this to be a thumbnail a little bit, so let's try. Okay, so my friend, he also sent me a surprise. He sent me a TV which I need but I don't have an entertainment um, center set up yet um, so I am not going to mold this just because I don't want to like pay for any more damages for this apartment I've already tore up the corners and I don't need to pay for like holes in the wall so super excited about that this is the LG UHD AI thing Q um, it's 65 inches so he got me this I am so happy this is the same guy I was telling y'all about in the last vlog I believe and I was just like yeah I want to come back in my life and I do nothing I don't do nothing I can't do nothing with I like you like <laughs> nothing on me TV so you know it might change for him I honestly I'm not the best picture taker which is why I do not take pictures but I'm trying y'all One thing I love about my apartment complex is that like, they called me when he sent this. I didn't know he was sending it. They're like, hey, you have a big package. Do you just want us to drop it off to your um, apartment? And I was at work, so I was like, yes, drop it off to my apartment. So I don't have to <laughs> uh, pick anything up. And so this week I also ordered my entertainment center. I ordered it from Wayfair. I was, at first I was gonna order it from Amazon, but I just felt like Amazon was going to charge me $80 to ship. And it wasn't through Amazon, it was like through a third party and they were gonna charge me $80 to ship. I'm not paying all that money to do that. I'm not gonna lie, like it's not giving what it's supposed to give. So I am happy. They have a trolley or a rolling, whatever it's called. And hopefully, it says it's gonna come Thursday, which is tomorrow. So I'm hoping that it just happens and they can bring it up again. 
I don't see no reason why they wouldn't. Like, they're super helpful. I love them. I'm not gonna lie. Now, because me trying to wash dishes and talk to y'all at the same time, it's not happening. I gotta focus. Uber everywhere. Let's see how far the Uber is going to be. The only thing about wearing leggings, like I love wearing leggings to the airport, but it's literally not the best when you don't have, um, what does this lip say? <laughs> Why would I ever give that? <laughs> Uber be wildin', I swear. Uber be, Uber, Uber be wildin'. I'm going to mop the front so when they come in, it's not nothing. Oh, I could also wait in the conference room. That's what I'm going to do. Clear everything out. Sweep. Whatever I got to sweep. Back. Hey y'all, so I made it to the lunch. I made it to my hotel to marry y'all. Um, I'm kind of early, so I wanted to check in early. They said that I could have waited like an hour for king size, but I just decided to go for the two beds because I have to interview an hour, well, less than an hour. I haven't practiced, but I just want to give y'all a sh little show of the room. Okay, so first thing, you walk in, you see me in the closet. Bam! All right, what's in the closet, y'all? Okay. They got robes. Okay, they have an iron, extra pillows, both good stuff. The bathroom is kind of small, but oh wow, they have mouthwash. You know how I many people do not have mouthwash? I'm actually gonna take this because this is essential. Hey y'all, it's me, your girl, and Jim Shark. Bam, bam, bam. I'm wearing Gymshark right now. Yeah, the titties is busting, baby. The titties is busting. So, this is it. Yo, this, um, this ugh, suit, not suit, this, um, thing that I got from Gymshark, the leggings and pants, it fits me so good. It hugs me in all the right places, and it gives me that, like, small waist type of feel. And I was just holding this speed belt to hold my phone while I, um, go through the airport because I always have a hard time finding my phone, finding my ID, finding my everything, little, the small things I need to find, can never find when I'm at the airport. So this is the bathroom. It's a given tub. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Regular tub. Nice mirror. So I will be using that. <laughs> so immediately, what do you see? You have a full length mirror, which is great since I'll be the only one using it. I don't have to share with anyone um i'm just wearing my rick owens of course and my leggings maybe i could put on some weight while i'm in houston and healthy weight of course and grow this shrink this shrink this naturally <laughs> next thing we have is the bed two double size whatever queen size no is it two full size or queen beds um these are cool I'm gonna sleep right here because I like to sleep far away from the door. And then you have the TV, stream Netflix, Prime, Showtime. Ooh, Showtime is free with your stay. I like that. Little study session. Little, I don't know what this is. And I don't know why I look like that's, you see that? I can't see it in front of me, but I see it on the camera. It's like this white. What is that? Mm mm. I'm not sitting there. Then you have the uh, view. So I want to show you how the view real quick. Um, it looks really nice, and they have a pool <laughs> on the roof. And this is the view. Catch me outside. And y'all, they don't give out uh, free Wi-Fi here. But luckily, I've always been a member of Marriott just because I love staying at the Marriott because it's always good service when I come here. But they don't have free Wi-Fi, so 
it is free if you are a part of the Marriott squad um, it is free for you the Wi-Fi but if you're not then it's $14.95 and I didn't catch whether she said it was $14.95 a day or whether it was just $14.95 for this day knowing how expensive the Marriott is or can be I'm going to guess I'm going to put my finger on it that it's $14.95 a day but that'll be so messed up like you're right unless but then I can also say just being one time like we're gonna charge you for this Wi-Fi they should have an unsteady guest Wi-Fi <laughs> that's free it's just unsteady <laughs> Enos I can't complain I'm just always trying to advocate for somebody let me just embrace Oh, what they're giving me here, y'all. Oh, look at my battery dying the moment I want to stand up and have have everything set to be an actual YouTuber. My battery is dying now. So, anyways, I'm going to charge this up and I'm going to write out a script and get a better understanding of the organization because I don't really have much time left before the interview. So I'm going to get a better understanding of the organization and i am going to ace this it's just a phone interview with a recruiter so like i said i feel like with the recruiters it's really just gauging what's your experience level and if you have qualities that they like so i am gonna be back i'll let y'all know how it goes and i also have a meeting with my former job so we're gonna see what they're talking about to, if i could do some contract work with them and that's extra income for me so i'm willing to get the 80 or 85 from you know the job that i'm applying to with the interview to also just do like a five thousand or ten thousand dollar contract i don't know how contracts work so i do have to do my own due diligence and see and if it's a part-time work where they pay me for the hour on a project, then I also have to see what's reasonable. Because asking for the bare minimum, like 25 that's not going to work. It has to be $50 an hour or better. I'm starting to advocate for myself because, like, I need to. In this world, as a black woman, you need to advocate for yourself or you're going to get left in the dust. The first day of the retreat went amazing. Oh, not the... So the only thing is I didn't I didn't come through with leggings. I didn't do that. I had like some work clothes. I had some work clothes on. But um but I met some um I met some girl out here. She seems younger. She was at the convention and she's like, oh her and a couple of girls are gonna go like walk around a little bit and the walk is like 12 minutes so I was like okay that would be perfect time for me to get my steps in since I don't have my son I have been walking get my steps in get my steps in get my you do, you kind of see the whole body you guys can do it the whole body hold on my steps in I don't know how to dance, y'all. Looks so at me just wilding, like I be throwing it back at the parties, and I don't. I be right there like, honey shot. Let me get a honey shot. Let me get a honey shot. Yo, the thing about my body that really be driving me crazy now, and old driving it crazy too, is that you'll look at me. Look, like for instance, let me show y'all the mirror vibes, right? Okay. Okay, so here's the thing, right? You'll look at me and you'll be like, damn, like, slim waist. My hips go out, like, very much so a little bit. It's giving a little out. <laughs> and then I turn around, like, look at this. You will be like, damn, I know that ass is fat. Then I turn around and I'll be like, psych your mic. Psych your mic. Psych your mic. It's not giving flat though, but it's not giving fat either. So it's like, I be fooling niggas. So that's why even niggas look at me like, don't look at me. I'm tired of being insecure of that. Like, this is who I am. This is what I'm giving. I look good as fuck. Just cause I don't got BBL, don't mean what. Like, Aaliyah, the singer, she was legit everything. Like, she looked mad good. Hair was mad good. Slim, petite and had the niggas 
Yeah. Yeah. Society, we think that we gotta look a certain way to feel beautiful and all these other things. I really just wanna get out of that. Like, I wanna feel beautiful no matter what. Like, I wanna feel beautiful in a long pair shirt, baggy sweats, no cakes, cakes, no, no breasts, breasts, pimples, no pimples, hair, no hair. Like, I feel like you should be confident no matter how the fuck you look. And if you wanna change how you look, to be more healthy, I think that's different than being like, oh, I want a bigger ass, let me get a BBL. But a lot of the people who are doing it too, is mainly women who can't afford to get it. A lot of people are doing it on credit. So you're doing plastic surgery on credit, you can't even afford to do it. So it's just like, you're going in debt for a body that you can't afford. I don't. Understand. I'm gonna catch her downstairs. I wrote her like, let me know when you're downstairs. Did she let me know? No. <laughs> Y'all, it's day two of the convention. And I am tired. I'm so tired. And I have a pimple. And I think it's because I've been drinking all the sugar lately. Like overdoing the sugar. I'm so tired. It's not even a break. I just gave myself a break because I'm a human and I'm an adult. And I could step away and come back to anything that I want to come back to. It's me trying to convince myself. Hey, I'm a human and I'm an adult and I'm tired. Like, what the hell? But y'all, I've been racking up them numbers, connecting with folks, and just networking. I've seen some fine. He was so fine. Uh, he was so fine, y'all. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, yeah, I look by costume and all this other stuff. And I was just like, because he was giving a little speech. He didn't give a really, he didn't really talk much when he was on stage. Then I was just like, oh, wait, so what does your organization do? Have you, and that's the easiest way to talk to people at convention. So what is it? What organization you're a part of? What does your organization do? And I was like, in layman's term, what do you do? And then he was, you know, putting this stuff together. But it's so funny because my friend, she sent me something where it was just like, yo, you can meet your man at a convention. So I'm about to show y'all the video. He was just like he he wrote me, um, cause mind you, I'm just met him an hour ago. He was just like, oh, well, we're going out tonight. Um, you should could tag along or whatever. And I'm just like, okay, where are you going? He's like, I don't know, but I'll let you know. And I was like, okay, well, you going to the happy hour that's happening here later today? He's like, yeah. <laughs> so. You never know, I might be in on this. I, was, I just said, and I'm like, I said, yeah, I plan to. I was like, okay, great. And let's talk. So we'll see. I'm not really good, but I'm good at just, listen, I'm I'm not the best at like, um, I don't pursue men. But what I would do is like, put the bait out. I'll put the bait out. If you can't catch the bait, you can't catch the bait. That's it. But I'm going to put it out there. Okay, yeah. I want to know more about whatever because what he did now that's why and that's what makes me feel like okay he's interested in talking to me too look he, ugh, I've like I swear that sometimes I have ADHD like it's crazy because I was just about to mention something else but listen I feel like he's interested too because he um gave me his QR code but didn't have his number on it he's like oh this one doesn't have my number on it and I was just like okay well do you want my number and he's like yeah and then I gave him my number. Shit, me? He didn't give me his number. I gave him my number. So you never know. But the only thing is, is that I didn't think I was going to be hanging out with people like from the convention here. So I bought a lot of, not whole fits, but definitely very much promiscuous New Orleans fits. Like I'm not coming here looking like the preacher's wife in New Orleans. I'm coming here looking like fucking Beyonce Renaissance. The fuck? And who said I, who said I can't? It's funny how I'm talking to y'all now, and I'm like, and I'm like not tired. Meanwhile, but as soon as I go downstairs, I'm like this. But I got their next sessions at three o'clock. I got thirty minutes to like sleep a little bit, so or lay down and just rest. That's what I'm gonna do.
because certain shit does make no sense like why are you giving a four minute pitch about what you're going to be talking about in the next hour all right y'all we'll be back anytime i could deal with somebody who has a kid is if their mother the mother of the kid is dead or in jail or some type of crackhead on the street but she a lot <laughs> Huh? No, I really wasn't here for it, to be honest. So you're getting your friends on that now? Come on, never better than that, man. I am better than that. That's why I left. Jimmy? How old was the kid? Huh? The kid was a baby or something? Enough. It don't matter. What's up with you? Why you got arrested again? Nah, only I caught up on my head a few little more in a different state. I kicked this bitch out of my feet, nerd. They got me out here in um, New Orleans right now. So I'm on this like uh, environmental justice convention. So doing that. But what do you work at? Work at some nonprofit. But the convention just ended. So <clears throat> I'm about to get dressed. Well, I'm just going to wear something calm because, you know, I'm around professional people. So I don't really want to pop out and be sexy. So I'm like, oh my gosh, who is this sexy goddess? I don't want to do that to them. So. I'm gonna relax right now. But you know what? I could still do that because I did bring. Oh, let me see. How long you out there for? Um, I'm just here. I was here since yesterday. I'm here till um, uh, Saturday. Never flood. 